So it's what the story tells about the first system. The idea, the main idea is analyze the evolution of the online, all online labs, establish a timeline and see why some of them have developed, some of them have been extincted, some of them have converged, some of them have diverged. This is something similar to the evolution of the species by uh, Darwin. So, we can uh, try to apply and demonstrate the, the laws of Darwin can apply to online labs. Okay, uh, what is the context and the motivation? The motivation is to demonstrate that uh, the online lab system is made by people and people are biological beings, are living beings. And uh, so, if the people can observe the Darwinian laws, the systems built by the people, perhaps even uh, they can observe also and follow the, on the Darwin laws. So, uh, sorry, it's the same, the other. Today, what is the state of the art? Uh, online networks have become very spread all around the world. The, there is an online labs research community is growing. There are some advantage because it's possible to reach graphically scattered students, for instance, in Australia, or, and all the offshore students from Malaysia, Singapore, etc., etc. They allow also to share resources. The, it's possible to uh, maneuvering complicated systems without any danger because it's possible by software protect equipments and peoples and also it's possible to experience emerging technologies like the mobile phones, the internet of things connection etc etc and so on. Of course the online labs are not good by themselves alone the important thing is to make a community of online labs and can share all these resources. Uh, to Today, uh, this is the field where online labs can be applied and they exist, but the main, main great field is electronics and instrumentation. It's the principal, the main uh, area of application in online labs. Some physics also, we were here in, uh, in EZ, but electronics is the main area. So, what is online lab? Uh, system is a system. The system has been defined by Bertalanffy and after by Bosco. As some uh, connection, it's the structural coupling. 
the structural coupling of the system is connected to its hardware and software system. But all this is made by people. So this depends on the will of the people and who knows the mood of the people. So we have another kind of coupling. This coupling, more Darwinian, it's the energetic coupling that we propose this concept. So it's possible to apply the Darwin theory to the evolution of online labs. Let's go see the main research question. It is possible to predict the evolution of some online labs by analyzing the overall development history and the reasons structural and energetic coupling behind their adaptation to the surrounding environment. What this means really? Let's go make a history of the online labs. Let's go observe what happened. Let's go try to find out what the reasons that have conditioned this evolution and let's try to predict the future in function of this making a model can, that we can apply and we can say, okay, if this happens like this in the past in the future, probably this will happen, etc, etc, etc there are some other two additional research questions uh, does the evolution of online labs follow the laws of nature? and especially do online lab systems adapt themselves to the surrounding environment? Do you remember Darwin? Darwin said that all the species are adapting to the surrounding environment. It's, it's very famous journey to the Galapagos in the in the in the in his ship. I don't remember the name of the ship now. Okay, so first thing to do: try to analyze the online labs timeline. You have there. Uh, I don't read all this, but I take a lot of time from 90s to today. The big development of online labs has two points. After the World War II, with teleguided systems, military systems, and also after the internet boom, because the first online labs are proprietary systems. They are made for internal perception of the groups that have developed this. Today, it's spread all over the internet and accessible by the web. Okay, so what we suppose? Let's suppose this is a supposition, okay? This is no real data, it's a supposition that we have three lines of evolution of online labs. So what are we going to see? We're going to see what's happened in the past, what's happening today. We go analyze that space between the left and the center and we try to predict the future to the right, okay? That's the idea. <coughs> Uh, what are the research objectives and goals? The aim is to suggest a number of lines of development, taking in consideration the system that already existed, to see really what, why some diet are extinct, why some other develop, why some diverge, why some converge. This will, will be made observing a uh, very detailing four uh, stages. The most remote past, the past, the present times, and let's try to predict the future. The research is made in two phases. The phase says is to analyze the evolution, see the publications, it's a lot of investigation, and choose the forums that, the forums that uh, uh, show what happened with online labs. These kind of forums are journal scientific databases, conference proceedings, websites, books, chapters, etc, etc, and so on. After, we go consider three main items. Remote and virtual apps, the core in the center, the engineering, education and pedagogy, because it's necessary that the students have a good pedagogical environment around what they are studying, and finally the end, hardware and software infrastructure that supports all the environment. So, we go choose three forums for remote and virtual labs, six forums for engineering and pedagogy, and nine forums for hardware systems interface and software interface. <coughs> this will be made specially from 1995. We go choose first three years, 
1995, 2005, and 2015, not 2014. Because this was made in the beginning of this year, so don't, we don't have yet data, but right now we have a lot of data, so it's possible to put the uh, range of 10, 10 years. Uh, what we're going to do also, we go identify, we go make some electronic map that uh, tells the place where the map, the labs are, where they are developing, city and country, the labs, the structural coupling, and make an analysis of the people, of the team, the scientific team that works with this kind of online labs, this network of online labs. Uh, all this is stored in uh, Mendeley tree that is built step by step. It's accessible in that, uh, to that site. And uh, there are some changes because we are make the investigation. They are not just exactly as there, now they are more developed. But the idea is to see the, the main items and in each of the form choose the items and in, in each of the items the years. We go make also a radar graph that can have that information, perhaps not exactly that, this is in development, uh, that uh, lines 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. shows for each year the hardware structure, coupling, the broker server, the information technology, the aspect of network security, the upgrades interfaces and also the pedagogical aspect, especially because uh, an online lab, I think it's very rich if connected with a support system, a LNS or a CNS, because they must have pedagogical and theoretical support. Uh, after the first phase, we pass to the second phase, verification, and we go choose two intermediate years, 2000 and 2010. We go make a more detailed analysis, we go make a search for samples, match against initial samples, match against control samples, and we try to confirm what was discovered and uh, acquired from the other three key years. Uh, so, we're going to make a double analysis. And finally, we go choose a very good forum, who don't know yet which is, and make a very detailed year-by-year -year analysis. Using this method, we go to try to establish the evolution line between the points past and present, and we try to project the future. Sorry, Sim. So, what are the dissertation status right now? First thing that uh, will uh, has already done, all this is already done, we have, we study the Darwin theory of evolution. After we study the general systems theory from Peter Lanfi and his development by John Bosch. After we define the concept of energetic coupling, Define a remoting, uh, we define a remote or virtual laboratory as uh, a system with structural coupling and energetic coupling and make some interactions with uh, each case study. Present an analysis of the origins of the remote labs and produce this timeline. What are we going to do after this? We go analyzing the different lines with the system I have uh, presented before, presenting a evolutionary analysis in relation with the origin of species theory from Darwin and also the adaptation of the environment. And uh, we go make the final, uh, the final uh, graph, the final schedule showing the most important uh, development lines what will be projected in the future, and of course we go postulating the conclusions that we reach in the study.